another uh, question for me. How do you get your hair so shiny? <laughs> That's because I'm sweaty. Because it's hot. Me too. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. So, but actually we're here at the Summer Breeze Festival today. Yes. And you already played your show. Yes. How did you like it by yourself? How did I like it by myself? Well, I played with all my bandmates. Mike. It was fantastic. Uncle Jazz. Jazz. Was a joy. John Kineski. It was very fun. Great crowd. And drummer Tim Tabone. <laughs> yeah, it was hot and sweaty and delicious. All the good things that a show could be. Did you watch our set? Of course. Please don't grab at my microphone. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you were grabbing at my microphone. No, it was very fun, although we got stuck in traffic. Oh, really? And well, seriously, we had a 12-hour drive, Summer Breeze. And we arrived literally three and a half minutes before our set. No way. Swear. All right, maybe 23 minutes. But it wasn't very long, and we had to throw it up there and go. And we still crushed it. Yeah. Many definitely. people said it was the best band at the festival. Yeah, and I was like, all right. Said Everybody said it. <laughs> so it must be true. Yeah, exactly. But you're kind of the soft band today. Soft. We're like yeah. The, we're like the seals and crops of Summer Breeze. <laughs> yeah. Did were you a bit worried that some metal heads wouldn't like your show? Maybe. We were worried. Ed. We were worried. Yeah, I was worried. I think uh, I was worried mostly for Tim, who had to do a Michael Jackson medley in front of uh, oh, yeah. twenty thousand metal heads. Yeah. And I think the crowd yeah. laughed it actually. Yeah. They totally did. They totally I did. I think when you're covering um, 70s R&B at a metal fest, um, you just have to go for it. There's no halfway. And uh, we did it. We did it together. Yeah. It was good. It was really awesome. I was terrified. I was terrified. Oh. But you couldn't see it. I came over to you and you looked I confident. I back, yeah. It was, it was good. There was also yeah. a, a fit that broke out during Broho. I don't know if you guys saw that. <laughs> Dude, no, it was a love pit. It was a love Did you pit. see it? Yeah. It was people just loving on they each other. They were hugging. Pit type they, yeah. They started it was a hug pit. And then they were like, yeah. They I've never seen anything like it before. It was yeah. fascinating. I didn't know it was a heavy metal um, uh, fest. So you didn't I, know? I wasn't worried. No, I thought this was like folk music or something. <laughs> I heard so some. I, uh, I heard some traditional sounding. Uh, what was that? Accordion? Maybe a mm, bagpipe yeah. or something. Accordion. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I think there's <laughs> just there's a great <laughs> tolerance. <laughs> a medieval. They so thought we were classic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> medieval is very <laughs> fucking classic. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really back. Yeah. That's vintage. Yeah. Yeah. And. Vintage what? armor. No, it's not even that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> trying to think of a good medieval band name. The band knows the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you'll be on the road again tonight. And what are you doing there in your bus? Is it mostly Chuck Daniels? Or? No. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Drinking Jack Daniels on a rock bus is a cliche. Yeah. And, and any band that would do it with the label forward, <laughs> the best rock and roll whiskey available, Jack Daniels <laughs> is just pandering and looking for a deal. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you want some? Of course, it's the best, so I drink it. All right. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah. Ava! You rule. You are rock. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and what I what are your personal favorite songs of of your latest album? Mm. Oh no, all of them. But what's the name of your band? Halo Creation. <gasps> Halo Creation. Yeah. I never thought of who created Halo. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> and now and you're like heavy metal. No. You you don't. Death metal. Death metal. Yeah. That's heavier than heavy. It is. So what? give me a song title that best evokes your... Uh, it's called Through the Looking Glass. Based yeah. on the, of course, Lewis Carroll novel. Based on you. Mm. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Specifically me? Yeah. Through the Looking Glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere.
Does anyone have, of you have favorite songs of the I, album? Uh, I really like uh, Gypsy Scroll. Uh, I like Gypsy Scroll a lot. Yeah. Timeless Tale. Yeah. We're coming out with a uh, annotated uh, version of the lyrics in uh, novella form. It's going to be available. <laughs> we are. And it comes with like that idea. <laughs> <I love> that. <laughs> in, yeah, we gotta do that. Great idea. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, with drawings. Yeah, that'd be really I'll cool. I'll get an illustrator. Yeah, that's a great idea. We just came up with a great idea. We can take the rest mm -hmm. of the day off. <laughs> and do you listen to some harder music to no. brutal death metal, Nothing for example? Me. Oh my God, I love the death metal. Oh, the harder the better. <laughs> Nothing gets me going. Like if I'm going to a party or whatever, I just grind, just grind it out. I love it. Love it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm not. I don't know what like death metal. I mean, you know. No I I love. I mean, I love heavy music. I'm I'm a, I'm a heavy kind of guy. You know, uh, you know Blue <laughs> that's not oh. death metal. I'm like more into like I don't know. Like right now I'm really into Red Fang, but that's not like death metal. That's no, no, it's not so brutal, but it's heavy and it's good. Sepultura, I see, is playing. They're pretty badass. Yeah. Keen. Um, Ornette Coleman is really Dude, heavy. That's heavy. That's that's heavy. heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. Uh. Old heavy, you know. 80s, no, seventies. Oh, really? Yeah, I think the heaviest I might go would be like a Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Everything else, I uh, I don't I don't listen to very much. Maybe some MC5. They're more garage. Maybe Captain Beyond. Captain Beyond, yes. yes. Maybe Trapeze. Yeah, Trapeze is one of my favorite bands in the world. Yeah, Glenn Hughes. Possibly some Pentagram. Pentagram, I like even better than Black Sabbath. Yeah. I actually really do like some metal. Uh, Children of Bodom, oh, yeah, one of my favorites. Alexi Leho, yeah. like I can shred. Oh, I'm just saying, man. I've I've always liked them a lot. Um, Cradle of Filth, uh, Morbid Angel, yeah. but mostly Children of Bodom. I saw Cradle of Filth is actually on this festival, I think, but I don't think we're gonna be here to see them. I do like them, but I don't. They're not really metal. They're more like heavy rock. Uh, they, yeah, they're one of my favorites. <laughs> I think they they do well on this festival. <laughs> my music, my my love of music is broad. I have I like a lot of broads. Broads, broads. broads. Yeah. a lot of broads. <laughs> so. Could you hum a little bit of through the looking glass? Because I'm really curious about that one. I I can show you later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it have a good melody? Yeah, could you do a rock scream for me? A rock scream? Yeah. Are you one of those? Are you up there? Are you oh, there it is. <laughs> His head almost blew off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, why did you hurt him? <laughs> Don't hurt He's him. He's used to that. So uh, getting in an argument with you is a bad idea. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> do, uh, how do dimples go over in, in the heavy metal? What? How do dimples go over in dimples. death metal? In death metal, yeah. I don't know what that is. Dimples are these right here. Oh. Yeah. What do you call them? What I call it? Yeah. Which one? Krupchen. Krupchen. <laughs> That's my new band name. Krupchen. 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 Yeah. So, um, are you writing all the lyrics? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we, we share the chores amongst... Um, the guitar players. Uh -huh. See, the guys on the rhythm, they don't understand how melody and stuff works, so <laughs> they depend on us. And are they? <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we're uh, we're all uh, we're all, uh, we're all uh, open to new sounds, guys. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to your contributions and mine as well, since I have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> are there also some lyrics which are meant to be very serious? Can't think of any. Oh, Maybe tremendous might be a tremendous little, is a little bit serious. Yeah. Serious. Um, 
What else we got? That's well, probably about it. Days. Dying Day is sort of nothing serious day. about that. Kind of a parody of one of those types of songs. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Well, it's just a song about drinking and, and sleeping. Yeah. Sleeping. Sorry, this is exactly what it is. There's it's a about woman sleeping, next to drinking, drinking and fucking. The thing is, though, it is yeah. so in the genre, though, I don't think you ever guess because you don't think about it. It's, it's basic so human needs song. You wake up in the morning. Do any eating. You left out eating. Yeah. There was a pancake lyric in there at one point. Oh, the pancakes tasted great. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Then he changed it. Yeah. Maybe so that he really needed a pancake. So the answer is no. We got an answer, but, but now you know. Right. We don't. We don't like decide that they're going to be funny and shit. Yeah. Just happen. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm. And what are your favorite artists when it comes to? comes to a rock show, to the performing side, oh. best you like? Performance? I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. oh, I mean, Bonamassa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you start there. Have you seen Joe Bonamassa play? No. Oh, she doesn't even know who he is. He's probably the best blues, electric blues guitarist, and the mo- well-dressed and working in the genre today. Check it out. Yeah. He sums up our band pretty good. talking about it but um there's a band called huntress do you know them jill and them are all all friends of mine and mike's and i think she's uh, an amazing performer yeah like the real deal like really 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 great talent no not her that's a different person yeah this is jill yeah are you talking about jill janice just on the topic of female-fronted heavy bands. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love, uh, I don't know, like, uh, uh, you know, I think the Foos do a great job of performing live. <laughs> now you're talking my language. Dude, it's a fucking rock show. And it's, oh, it's yeah. Foo- great. It's great. Did you, did you see the guitar off between Dave and Chris Shiflett? Unfortunately, yes. That, to me, said rock and roll. Did you all know each other before this project started? Yeah. Well, Tim, we didn't know. Oh, right. Tim's the newest member. Um, but I got him uh, in the back pages. I was looking for a erotic massage. What story are we on now? I don't know. But uh, we, we all know each other really well now because of our travel things that... Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Yeah, we're all good friends. All right. For the purposes of this, I'd like to retract my Foo Fighters statement. What? I, of course, I, the, my favorite band is Cleaves of the Stone Age. Oh. I've seen them like six times. Thank God we... And the them Crooked Vultures. Fucking awesome Aren't they the job. same band? Isn't there some... No. John Paul Jones is in the Vultures. He's, uh, he's pulling from Led Zeppelin. It's a whole different yeah, experience. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Are you actually um, like a much bigger band in the U.S. than in Europe? Yes. Oh my no. God! Yeah, we're just no. trying to catch up over here. <laughs> that's amazing. But we no. just want to reach out to a new market, and we and we love Europe. So yeah, yeah, we play. Uh, I mean, we play arenas. It's not like we're playing stadiums in the States. We play the Arena Lounge. Which <laughs> <laughs> is a yeah. smaller, it's like yeah. upstairs. Um, no, we, had, we had over 20 people at that one. The truth be told, we're a little more popular over here. And God love you for it. Yeah. Love you for it. Actually, yeah. We don't draw flies in the United States. Except for Bozeman. Correct. We are the Beatles of Bozeman. Oh my god. <laughs> no. You don't like it as much? Sure, I like it. I still like you a lot. But the uh, song is still about you. Lying, no. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I know. No. Much, no. You know, I don't think no. Americans like rock and roll quite as much as Europeans and Southerners. Really? Yeah, no. Yeah, definitely not. But the yeah, rock and roll is alive and well, <coughs> especially yeah, in the yeah. great country of Germany. Totally. But Europe in general. I'm from Austria. Even better. Austria. We played in Austria. We played in Vienna. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
uh, last show, the last tour, and it was crazy. Crazy. Like, yeah. Probably the best show I toured. Yeah, it was the best show. If I remembered it, I would agree with you. We celebrated with the Tim McGraw sing-off right after the show, remember? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. That's how I remember it. Yeah, yeah the sign of any good show. Tim McGraw is probably the most brutal of 90s country artists. <laughs> I would say so. He's pretty fucking metal, dude. Would you say he's the most metal of the country yeah, I think that's I what just he just said. said. He just Literally did. verbatim. Uh, wake up, Uncle Jack. Ah, uh, dude. Right? Take some of that. <laughs> dude, who has been feeling well, okay? <laughs> My point exactly. Would you would you say that we're your favorite band that you've interviewed? Yes. Okay. And true answer. Really? Yeah. Uh, you can tell me that your eyes are actually for real. Well, I don't think <laughs> yeah. I think I speak for all of us when I say you're our favorite. Don't you think? Oh, hands down. Yeah. yeah, hands down. Thank you. Yeah, hands down. Yeah, hands down. Well. On that note, I think it's probably best to wrap up. That's what I wanted to say. I just I read your mind. We have psychic friends network connection now. <laughs> when when is when is Halo Factory playing? When are you guys playing? Halo Factory. <laughs> What's the name of it? What's the, name? the the Halo Club. Club Halo. Ring around your halos. Halo makers. Halo cre. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so when are you playing? We are playing in two weeks in Austria at the Headbangers Percussion Festival. All right, we got that. Well, we will be there in spirit. I'm going to look you up on uh, the YouTubes right now. What's your best song? You know it. You know it. Cool. cool. Hey, thanks for thanks for all this. Make us make us look good. <laughs>